tomorrow I'm going to start teaching beginners. Um, I cleared out my whole kitchen, got a different kitchen table that folds up. This is going to be the place where we beginners learn Tai Chi forms. So I've been preparing for this for a couple months at this point. Um, so tomorrow's the big day for you. The, for whoever wants to actually learn Tai Chi form from me online, you'll be able to do that. Um, it'll be monetized somehow. I'm not sure, quite sure of the platform. Uh, all the other videos are free, and today is free. So I'm going to explain some things about Tai Chi to you. Um, one of the most significant things about Tai Chi to what we're going through right now with this pandemic is the effect it has on calming your whole system down. So the three main qualities, I, I like to deconstruct the basic tenets of Tai Chi down to three main qualities. They are relax, slow, and sync. So I'm going to go into each of those. This is going to come off sounding a little bit like the 10 minute elevator pitch for Tai Chi, but I, I bought it, so, and I prove it to myself every time I practice. Um, so the idea of sinking is to feel the weight of your own body uh, as taken up primarily by your quadriceps, and you feel more grounded, literally, because you're sinking your weight into gravity, into Earth. Um, this is a, a poised kind of sinking, so that your your uh, but your back is straight, your head is lined up in a very specific way with a lift to the ground point. So you're not sinking like this or just squatting. It's not like doing squats. It's a, it's a constant slow sinking. So that sinking is um, of equal importance to the idea of relaxation. So the relaxing is, uh, as I've described it a lot, it's not like a limp, limp, um, you know, sluggish relaxation, like when you just flop down on your couch and look at your cell phone. It is not, it is a very alert relaxation. It's known as song, S-O-N-G in Chinese. I, I probably don't have the tone right. John Mo will have to correct me on that tone. <laughs> Um, so that relaxed state, it's easier to get into if you've done seated meditation first because your mind is clear. Um, so it's, it's a quality of relaxation that's got to do with emptiness um, and, and awareness, alertness to uh, feeling. To, it's a very... Um, a relaxation during which you feel very aware of everything around you. Uh, and then the slowness is probably the thing that characterizes Tai Chi the most and is the most significant to why it makes you feel relaxed afterwards and makes you feel calm and peaceful. So Tai Chi is the, the learning of Tai Chi forms is, an, it's, there's an element of stress to it because you know, you, it's really confusing at first, and, and it has to be broken down into little pieces to be understood. And those little pieces accumulate over time until you, and you, you eventually see a form that is very complex, and there's a lot of thoughts firing off in your mind while you're doing it. You're getting, you're re almost like you're receiving messages from ancient masters of the significance of what each mo movement means. So the, the slowness allows the mind to reflect on what it's doing. It, it allows the mind to conceive of what the next movement's going to be, reflect on the previous movement, and pay attention to the, each movement as it's unfolding in the present moment. So it's the time continuum is the most that's the most significant thing about Tai Chi is the slowness so um, it gives you a, a sense of immortality or at least longevity because everything slows down 
So um, it, at the present time, with going through the, the pandemic, Tai Chi is so much needed by everybody in the whole world. It's a very practical, it's not, you know, go off into um, a cave and sit in, in and starve yourself. It's a very pragmatic, worldly practice that's well integrated into a, a person's work life or other practices or um, a sense of community too because different forms, um, you know, in different regions, people come together to practice the form that's, well, traditionally from their, their, their region in China, uh, Chen Village or the Yang family style from, from um, that was Guangping Yang Prefecture. Uh, Guangping Yang style came from Guangping Prefecture, which actually has been districted out of existence, but was a, a particular place in China where my long form originated from. Um, not to get too esoteric, but the form I'll be teaching is going to be uh, the Mainland 24. And there's a video of the performance of the whole form, but I've never broken it down and taught it in, online before. So it's going to be pretty laborious for me, and I have to get compensated for that financially. Um, but I don't want anybody who can't afford to learn that really wants to learn be denied that that opportunity. So it's easy to get in touch with me and tell me your situation. If you can't afford the lessons, then let me know and I'll make it happen. Uh, otherwise, pay up folks because you're going to get a lot out of this and it, it will in fact help protect you from the, the virus. And I say that with 100% conviction, Tai Chi stimulates your immune system. The positions that you are in, in a slow, constant way, which are non-strenuous and don't exhaust you, but rather give you energy, are energy centers known as meridians or where the acupuncture points uh, are located. And new blood flow goes through those regions of your body. And that fresh blood flow gives us energy and stimulates our immune system. So um, I'm excited to begin the, the courses. Uh, I, they're going to be divided up into 20 minute segments. 20 minutes on Qigong to generate energy. Qigong is repetitive, simplistic movements that um, it means energy work. Qi meaning energy, gong meaning work. The same gong that's in gong fu. Um, and the second 20 minute segment will be warm ups. So those are uh, going to stretch the muscles and lubricate the joints, the warm ups. And then the Tai Chi form itself will learn in, in, in um, different pieces every lesson. So hopefully, I'm hoping it'll take eight weeks because the Orinda Community Center is going to offer this course if I can ever get through to them. They're, of course, sheltering, and the center is not open, so it's a little hard to... So you can pay through them. There's going to be different ways that you can pay. I haven't figured that out yet. Today is just telling you it's coming. And, um, yeah, I hope everybody gets to learn Tai Chi, because even if you're young, let me just say this, that if you're young, it's like, it's like insurance. I never quite understood this. Um, my old Sifus would say, it's like money in the bank. I was like, what? Learning Kung Fu is like money in the bank. I don't know. My lessons cost me a lot of money. I don't quite get that. Now I know what they meant. It's that warehouse of knowledge is, is like a savings account that you can spend as uh, when you need it. So it, it's, it's in, it, this is an invaluable tool. Um, of course, combine it with, you know, if you're doing exercise videos, there's so much online. There's stretching and there's Pilates and there's yoga and dance workouts for free. So I, I really, I cross train. I, I, if I could, I do Kung Fu 24 seven. I can't, my body can't take it. And most of the uh, 
the stuff I do, I, I have to do to, because I injured myself so much when I was younger by overtraining. And, um, but, you know, if I had one, one wish <laughs> in this life, well, I'd actually wish the virus would be eradicated or something much more noble. But on the other hand, I would just love to be able to do Northern Shaolin infinitely till the day I die. But, you know, we'd all like to be young forever. So, um, yeah, I hope, I hope you embrace this art and make it part of your arsenal of wellness. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.